All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Apparently, we're going to open Haphazard Bombardment two packs in a row. Two drafts in a row. That's, I take it that card's not good. It's it's a six-mana red enchantment. What do you think it does? Probably absolutely nothing. It's probably just some random bullshit, right? What does it yeah. do? Oh, God. <clears throat> Hold on, let me get my throat ready. <clears throat> no, blah, 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 blah. Uh, when it enters battlefield, choose four non-enchantment permanents you don't control and put aim counters on them. So you can be like land, land, creature, enchantment, right? Mm -hmm. Non-enchantment, so artifact, whatever. At the beginning of your end step, so then I go to my end step, if two or more permanents you don't control have aim counters on them, destroy one of them at random. So I'll be like, put four counters on them, roll a die, I'll kill one of them. Okay, next turn, roll a die, I'll kill one of your three. Next turn, you got two? All right, roll a die, I'll kill one of them. And then, then the last one remains, gets to survive. That's terrible. Yeah, it's not. It's six mana, right? Like, it kills three permanents over three turns, but it takes three turns. So, I don't know. I kind of like Baird here. Like, I like the legendary cards. Uh, I also like the fact that it's just a 2 4 for four. It has vision. Yeah, it's, this is the pick, I think. I think white is one of the strongest colors. Oh. What do you take over this? What uncommon is better than Jaya's Immolating Inferno? Something, I you guess. You see this card? Yeah, it deals, it deals the damage. To up to three targets. Yeah. For X. Face, creature, creature. Seems good. Okay. Well, we're going to take this. <laughs> and we took a legendary for the first pick. So, good lord. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> oh, Skizik. Another Marwin. Bombardment's not... Okay, so don't get me wrong. Bombardment's not terrible in the late game. Like... It... <sighs> The problem is that you can't control it, and the problem is that, like, the the permanent you want to kill might just survive. I like Skizik, but I also like Gitu Chronicler, especially because we have this. Gitu Chronicler is if it was kicked, you return an instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. Hmm. <coughs> Could be Skizik. I think it's one of the, it's one of these two. Skizik might be harder to come by. This is also a wizard, which makes it relevant for the wizard archetype. It's a wizard. Could just be Skizik. I think I kind of like just Skizik here. We can probably get more of those idiots. The Flame of Kel. Draw. Oh god, I always read this one. Discard your hand. Well, not picking that card. Draw two cards and then. Ugh. Tap a creature and opponent controls. It doesn't untap for as long as you control this. So return all tap creatures to their owner's hands. That one's pretty decent. Looks like it's time of ice. <laughs> it, I think this is the pick. I mean, I kind of like Kelvin Overseer too, but... Time of ice seems pretty strong. So we'll see how that goes. As long as there are two more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, it gains plus one, plus oh, and haste. Don't care about that. Untamed Kavu is pretty good. Sorcerer's Wand could be good if we have enough wizards. We don't have any wizards yet. Of course Mike would pick Time of Ice. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Is Time of Ice legendary? Uh, it's a saga, so I don't I don't think so. No, it's not. But this Just means you have to triggered that. No, cuz you have to have a legendary creature or planeswalker it specifies. Valley Man, thanks again for all your great content. Do you like Dominaria so far? I actually, P.S. Hey Mike, yes I do actually. Dominaria has been sweet so far. Um, I don't know how I feel about. It might just be fervent. I'm gonna take the Sorcerer's Wand. Why are you a rogue and not a wizard? Thank you so much for the, for the donation, uh, Valley Man. Really appreciate it, buddy. And yeah, I've been enjoying. I've been enjoying Dominaria. Wow, you're on while I'm at lunch. Uh, Mike, Mike, I don't know if you know this, buddy, but uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time every day is when I stream. So, all right, we're just going. Uh, oh, dang it! Oh my god, we could still be red white. We could still be red white. The card seems pretty good. Or Joy was familiar, which is also pretty good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we gotta get rid of Time of Ice and Relic Hunter or we can just take the Familiar which makes uh... oh 
Oh, Fire Intervention is actually a pretty easy pick. I didn't even see Fire Intervention, which makes me feel stupid, but I felt stupid before, so. Nothing hey, in Hey, look, here. it's a braid, but a lot more expensive. Yes, it's a little <laughs> Five mana sorcery speed of braid. Uh, but it, to be fair, it deals two more damage, Michael. Also, Goblin Barrage is pretty good. Kicker, Sacrifice, an Artifact, or a Goblin. Uh, it deals four damage to a creature. If you kick it, though, it deals four damage to a player or Planeswalker as well. It's four damage, so. Okay. Okay is right. And now we don't have to worry about blue or white yet, so. It's plus two, plus three to aura and equipment attached to it. How many are in this format, though? It doesn't seem like there are a ton. It might just be Warcaller here. I don't know. When Warcaller takes... Put a lower counter on your Sega. Whatever. On your Sega? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sega! I was literally thinking that. <laughs> Did I pass a short sword there? Hey, look, it came back. Maybe you just play it when you have no cards in hand. You just wait till you have no cards. It still seems bad, right? I don't like it. Josh, I was actually like, what does he mean? Did I miss a cool interaction? So at the point in the game where you have two instants or sorcerers in a graveyard, this becomes a 2-2 two -two with haste. Yeah, I'll just take the first That's awkward. Strike. Yeah, I'm like, oh, so on turn, like, six? Yeah, seems good. <clears throat> You're awkward. Yes. Yes, I am. I don't know. I didn't want to say anything, but then I did. So. But I did want to say anything, but then I did. Why are you the way that you are? God, he's having so many things with shopping. Yeah, he's going shopping soon. Bird, bird, bird. Burr, 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 burr. Look up Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> That's right. That's right. This shit is familiar. Check your girlfriend. She should smell similar. <laughs> oh, man. We need more legendary guys, though. I don't want to be having no dry assimilating inferno in my hand. Maybe people just realize that, like, it's too hard to trigger. I don't think so, though. Do you think he does his animation by himself? I got I hope so. That would be amazing. Oh, my God. It just says, actually, uh, oh, my God. Listen to this. Here you go. Track 20 off my 40-something track album. We was going to drop it for the holidays last year, but young Zeknik got robbed at gunpoint for his laptop and some other stuff, and he was drawing the whole vid. So I had to do it solo, and you know what? I don't draw good. I draw great. But you know what? Shout out to the robbers for not leaking my song. <laughs> that was four years ago. This is a 2014 jam? Dang. <coughs> well, I'm gonna take the Baird out for now. Yeah, Hunter's making a little. He's making a. What is it? What's the word? I need attention sound. No, he's making like what's the meme? A whimper. No, he's making the meme word that they use in the meme in the dog meme. Is a dog meme for that sound? No, God, I hate you so much. <clears throat> oh, Tempest Gin, Icy Manipulator, Divination, Raph. Tempest Gin seems pretty good. Triple Blue is hard, but it should be fine. We're not really blue. I agree with that. I awkwardly agree with that. I think it is icy. Icy is just really good. Alan, we went we we three would with the last deck, so that was good times. I think it's icy here. I don't think it's a. I don't think we're a raft deck. I'm just gonna take icy here. I like raft because he's a wizard, though. He's a wizard, daddy. I think you're overvaluing wizards. I think you're overvaluing your mom. Get wrecked. Hmm. 
Did you get wrecked? I don't think so. Yeah, but you should get wrecked. What's your favorite Pokemon? <clears throat> Snorlax. Wow, that is the most fitting Pokemon I've ever heard for you. That is amazing. All right, 4444, four, four, four. whenever it attacks, flip two coins. If both coins come up heads, it gains double strike. Okay, so that's good. If both coins come up tails, it gains menace. That's just a 444 four, four with upside? Yeah. I think it's this over Shivan Fire. Like, we already have Fire Intervention, Goblin Barrage. I think this guy's just great. Double Strike or Menace. I'm, I'm, I'm game. <clears throat> I think Giant's a better card. Maybe not a better card, but... <clears throat> oh, Sulphur Falls. Who gets excited about Dual Lands? This guy. If you control another wizard, eh, we're probably not going to do that. Yeah, I probably just want the, the fixing land, especially because it lets us possibly splash the blue. Maybe. You need some legendaries, boy. Yeah, but there's no, there's not available to me. Yeah, I'm just going to take falls here. What do you want from me, Michael? I can't just make the lands appear, okay? Hmm. Shut up, Michael. Hmm. Err. How many wizards have we got? None? Like, we have no wizards, right? Literal zero wizards. Nor legendaries. No, we do. Oh, dang. We took the only legendary out. This is awkward. Man, this deck is awkward. Found a legendary. <clears throat> Instead, I'm just going to take the draw three cards, though. Sulphur Falls is worth a dollar. It's not... Super exciting. Just like Mike. Not super exciting. Only worth about a dollar. Syncopate. All right. Now we're talking. We can also take Skittering Surveyor, which is pretty okay. Triggers both of our Relic Runners, and it lets us play a Splash Color. I think it's probably Skittering Surveyor. You know what this guy does? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. God. He get you a land. <clears throat> He's a Pilgrim's Eye. Spray, spray me with some water. All right, I got you. Wait, did I do that backwards? Yeah, that was backwards. Dang it. <laughs> totally unintentional, I'm sure. I'm the best. Burr, 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 burr. Enchanted Permanent has Hexproof. When Enchanted Permanent leaves the battlefield, if it's historic, draw two cards. I don't think that's very good. Could be Keldon, right? Keldon, Keldon Raider. Could also be this wizard that lets you add mana for instants and sorceries, which I think is probably pretty good when we have weight and fire intervention and barrage. I'm just gonna take this guy. <clears throat> this deck is way too dirtily. So are you. Oh, Joyra is familiar. I'm very familiar with that. Oh, plus one, plus two, and plus two, plus one, and Menace? Minazio? Okay. I'm just going to take the familiar here. What's that little bird do? Historic spells cost one less. The other little oh. bird. Whenever you cast Historic Spell, scry one. <clears throat> hmm. Mm -hmm. This song will be in my head forever, I'm pretty sure, so. Thank you guys for that. Swag, swag, swag. Opened a Teferi last night and I sold it, and now it's worth five tickets more than when I sold it. That's sad. Get wrecked. I totally got wrecked. Oh, I like playing Rona and splashing it off of a black. And she's legendary. I think that's pretty good. You know what Rona does? She get you thing. 
<clears throat> I feel like you would know what Rona does because you play Commander. She also looks like Domino in the new Deadpool. So... Deep free. Oh, I like a divination a lot. Do I like a wizard more than a divination? No, probably not. No way, Jose. What about deep freeze? <coughs> that was pretty good. I don't know what's it. So we'll take deep freeze. We can probably get more divinations, but deep freeze is a card I really like having. So. Creatures you can control gain first strike, draw a card. I'm just going to take the opt. This also draws a card, but we get to scry first. It is much better. Deep Freeze does deal with Multani. And and boy, do I need that. With a Multani. <laughs> Some kind of beverage? Yeah, you got to... Hey, man. Can I get an ice cold Multani? Oh, this idiot. One. Yeah. Oh, God, he's busted. <clears throat> I'm actually going to take this guy because maybe it's actually pretty okay. Kerwit, here's a dollar to get my name back on the top of your list. <laughs> Kerwit, your name is always at the top of my list, buddy. Always. Oh, look, there's a divination. We could also add one, one forest in the deck and play this. Probably not doing that, though. Oh, damping sphere. All right. <clears throat> Burner. -ner. What's in a Multani? Well, it's hard to say, really. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. To my day. <laughs> well, that was amazing. All right, here's our legendary. It is a rare white one, and we can't really play that. Unfortunately, this pack is not very good. Skittering Surveyor number two is probably just fine, though. I'm actually very okay with that. I don't think we can win unless we can cast that legendary <laughs> spell. Rona? Yeah. Unless we cast our one legendary creature, I don't think we can win the game. Oh, boy. This guy's a wizard. Harry. I'm not a big fan of Warlord Phoenix. Warcry Phoenix. Just because it's 4 mana 2-2. Two -two. Oh, I like a Cloud Reader Sphinx, though. Art so weird. It is kind of... All Sphinx art is weird. Like, can we agree on that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like Jean Grey had a weird baby. <laughs> Looks like Jean Grey had a baby with a horse. The horse eagle. <clears throat> oh, Hansel and Harbor. Look, we could have taken that red card. By oh, red card, you ooh. mean green card? Ooh. That's a good one. Let's do it a bouncing. Gene Nay. Wow, that's really good. I also hope this Chronicler comes back, but I'm not holding my breath. Man. Nothing good in here. Why aren't you a construct wizard, Harry? Whatever, I'll take the 1 3 just in case we need that kind of thing. I wish Fervent Strike let you draw a card. I would have just taken that. <clears throat> um, I don't hate Jousting Lance, I guess. Triggers are Relic Runners, and if they're unblockable, that's pretty good. Yeah, I kind of like Lance here. I'm a wizard, Harry. Did you hear my voice crack just a little bit there? Mm hmm. The sickness is getting to me. So, what can we put on champion? Just Lance so far? It's pretty bad. <clears throat> I think our deck fizzled. Why? We're going to win. I'm not so sure. Oath of Teferi. I got excited for a second, but then I was like, oh, wait. Dang it. I gotta be a hater, man. 
I'll take this Yargle. No. It is legendary, though. Yeah, that's the legendary Yargle. Then we can cast our spell to win the game. Mm -hmm. We're already playing Rona. Oh. Oh, that's worth playing. And it's legendary. Maybe we can get that hint on the horror back. Yeah, I'm taking this. Another Relic Runner? So, sir, I'm just talking player on one damage. She's a creature that player controls. This actually is probably very good for the sideboard. So, I'm going to take that. <clears throat> Put the Yargle over here. Skizik is probably a six drop, which is fine. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely playing this. I'll just splash one forest in our double skittering surveyors. Yeah, but here's the thing. If we move our sixes to our fives to six, then it's like, oh, look, we have less now. Oh, look, here's another one. We can actually splash for a thorn elemental. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Me neither. God, if that Hinderland Harbor came back. <clears throat> That's how I feel about that. I like how we're very slowly listening to this song. Yeah, eventually we'll get through it. Oh. I don't know why that Merfolk Druid is still in there. That card's very good. You gain a life and draw a card, man. Unbelievable. Hmm. You ever draw cards before? No. What's it like? Come on, fingers crossed that Hinterland Harbor comes back. Just one time. One time, Hinterland Harbor. Ah! Oh. Ah! This is a late thorn elemental, too. I don't think green is that weak. I'm actually a big fan of green in the cube. In the cube. Uh, in, the, in the format, in the draft. I don't know why I said the cube. Bailoth? If a source of deal damage to a quick creature, two of it. Pardic Wander. Whatever, might might play Partic Wander. Scholar might even be playable. Probably not, but maybe. Ancient Animus. This is a lot of green. Navigators come. Oh, Navigator comes actually. God, we're passing an Animus and a Sapling migration. Yep. We sure are. That's weird, dude. Arcane flight. Well, we did not get our Hinterland Harbor. <clears throat> Mike is too lazy. It takes too much energy to click a mouse. What happened? So I'm going to take out the Fervent Strike. We're going to just play Compass and not be not be thrilled about it, but it does trigger both of our Relic Runners, which is nice. It's also something easy to sacrifice for Goblin Barrage, which is actually pretty okay. And we'll add one one forest and one swamp. <coughs> How you doing, man? You doing a little bobbin? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. We're all very proud of you. I'm not very proud of you. I lied. I'm sorry. Man. Shucks. Shucks. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good save. We could actually Yargle, especially because we got Arcane Flight. Now we can just put this on Yargle and attack for 10. Oh my god. <clears throat> is that too dirtily? Yes. Yes, it is. Are you sure? Yes. Does he have Trample? No. He has nothing. <laughs> he literally has nothing. <laughs> oh my god. All right, 1-1. One, one. Eight six is that right? Probably want seven seven, which is actually eight eight because of the sulfur falls. What can go wrong? What can go wrong? Does it look like something's gonna go wrong? Do you not like our deck? No. You don't? Mm. Well, that's that. Whatever. We're gonna three zero, bro. Super dirtily. <laughs> I'm the best, Michael. Swag, swag, swag. Could also play this guy. Put the arcane flood in that dude. It's a four four. 
That's much more reasonable, actually. Then a Yargle? Yeah. That's a 10 4, good buddy. We could say it's a 10 4. <laughs> we can attack with Yargle in the air and be like, that's a 10 4, good buddy. It. Uh, I think the meme is probably worth it, yeah. This hand is great. Do you have a problem with this hand? No, this hand is good. And our opponent went to seven? Basically, can't win now. Let's start on a colorless land? Aggressive. <clears throat> it's oh. weird to me that you're pouring this liquid into a different cup, as opposed to just drinking it out of the... I got a straw in a cup. I think... I think I think I'll... Uh, you value straws high? No, I think drinks taste better when they're in not bottles and cans and things. Hmm. When they're free to breathe. That's interesting. Yeah, you're interesting. Just kidding. Wow. Got him. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Oh, boy. This is nice. So now the question is, do we get a, a, a mountain or a... We got to get a swamp, right? We only have one swamp. We have, like, seven other red sources in the deck, so... I see. I see. <clears throat> Can I don't think cans make soda better at all, actually. I think soda in cans tastes terrible to me. I think soda in any container tastes exactly the same. No, it definitely tastes different when you're like in fountains and stuff. Fountain drinks, yes, those are a little different. Why are they different, Michael? Because they got that syrup ratio. <laughs> Let's get our fourth color. <coughs> I like that we can play both of these back to back. Oh, we can actually play this for four and then play our land after so we draw the card. That's gas. Okay, well, that's disgusting. Oh, we have this, so I'm okay with it. All right, that's pretty reassuring. <coughs> keep it down, Michael. Never. You'll never keep it down? Never. Oh, no. <sighs> mm-hmm. Might have to take a turn off to fire intervention here, but. Why would you ever want your soda warm? Yeah, soda, soda warm seems weird. I'm not okay with what you're saying right now. I guess the artifacts now have a gold border around them. That's an interesting change. Helm of? Is that what it's called? <clears throat> well, you spelled help of. Okay, well, that's not the same, I guess. No, they don't have that in real life. <clears throat> I hope you attack with both of them. They didn't attack with either. There ain't no reason to trade a 2 2 for one of your 1 2s, so. I paid attention to pouring the soda into a glass of ice. I'm just saying, like, why would it matter if it starts at a cold temperature or at a warm temperature? That seems weird to me. Oh my god, how many of these guys do you have? Clearly three. Well, they have two, I guess, but... You know. They played... They played. They have three in play, even though they only have two in their deck. What a, what a time... I like that this guy just has haste forever. 
<coughs> oh, sure. That's pretty good. How nice. Can I, can I, if I bounce this, you cast non cards, exiled with Rona. Okay. Well, now I'm going to bounce that, so. I'm just going to steal all your helms. I had to deal with helms twice, but. Oh, well, look, now they have domain. Amazing. Hmm. Wow. Nice. What did you say hmm for? Oh my god. I can't. <coughs> Oh, a little blood tallow candle. So if we play you, we're only going to get value off of one thing. So. Mm -hmm. This costs one, two, three. You cost four, and you cost three. So one, two, three, four, five. We're, we're one shy of playing both of you. <coughs> this costs three, and this costs three. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to play a land without getting the value. I think we actually just play you. And then if you want to spend your whole turn killing that next turn, that's fine. Because <clears throat> we can actually go Time of Ice, tap a thing down, Keldon Warcaller, tap another thing down because you can put a counter when it attacks. And then next turn we get to return all the things with the Icy, no less. That's pretty good. And we can tap a third thing down with the Icy. We did play land. We played the... Played Island. Don't be anything good. Put three lands in there. I don't need any lands. Oh, you're going to mill yourself. Huh. Well, that's a good huh. one. Huh. That's also a good one. Welp. <clears throat> wow, their deck is just mono bombs. We're just playing five color bombs over here. Actually, I feel pretty good about this, though, because now we get to tap a bunch of your things. One, two, three, one, two, three. We can go one, two, three. Um, get rid of the real one, I guess. I'm not sure it makes a difference. Get rid of the real boy. All right, so nothing's exiled with her, so that seems fine. <clears throat> We're at 25. We've gained a lot of life so far. Are they just going to exile a card from their library? Which was what? I don't know where it went. Is this not the exile pile? <laughs> oh, it's right here. Okay, that's weird. <coughs> 
Mm-hmm. Return all tap creatures to their owner's hand, so your whole all your creatures go away. That's pretty good. All your creatures go away. Make me feel your creatures go away. <clears throat> and we get to tap this guy too. That's pretty good. And it's a token, so it'll never it'll never come back. Do you know how never coming back works, Michael? Can never. you do that for me? Oh wow. It got real sad, didn't it? Wow, that's messed up, man. I thought we were friends. We'll never we'll never be friends. I'll never be your friend. Until I'm your friend. Huh. We can also tap something on our upkeep with the trigger on the stack, which Let's is pretty that. sweet. <laughs> Bouncy board. All right, we would have drawn that. Would have played it and drawn that. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but I think we still... I, I don't know why I'm saying it's unfortunate that we would have drawn a land, even though we already won the game. Wow, their deck seems really kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Each spell a player cast costs one for each other spell that player has cast this. Alright, if you're going for none of those do anything. Alright. <clears throat> that doesn't do anything. Each creature they control, they don't have any ones. <coughs> God, I'm really scared of like Daragaz seems really hard to deal with. So does the helm. I feel like we got real lucky that match. Yeah, he milled his bombs. <laughs> It looks pretty greedy color-wise, though. They have at least two Skittering Surveyors, though. <clears throat> um, What was the other card they milled with the... Uh... They milled the big, dumb dragon that makes eggs. Oh, and the one that the Alex draws Yeah. <clears throat> okay. 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 So, I wonder if we do just go to the Arcane Flight Yargle plan. They didn't really have a lot of removal. I didn't see any. <laughs> Elk Tears with the, uh, the on-point emote usage there, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, I actually just like throwing in Vol Voltaic Servant. For uh, icy use. Might not be great though. It's kind of limited. It's so little cute. Most of the legends are one. That's actually kind of sweet. It is a little cute. Oh, uh, this hand seems good. It's a little slow, it is. You're a little slow. Wow. You sound like my, my doctor. He is a little... S <laughs> and now the white male vampire legend is mentally ill. Nice. True to life. Yeah, I can, I can get behind that. <clears throat> They went to six. That's pretty good for everyone involved. Except for your dad. All right, that's good. That deals with Helm. God, Darigaz is like hard to deal with, right? The problem is I don't know what to get with Surveyor. Like, we just get green, probably. Which legend do you want more? I want the green one more. Okay. It makes me feel some type of way. Oh, Deep Freeze is actually a good answer. I agree. That's that's all right. That's all right. That's okay. They could put him in a Deep Freeze, we could. Oh, man. <clears throat> you doing all right? Are you exploding right now? Maybe. That's unfortunate. Here's my little bird. Goblin Barrage seems great here because we have so many like useless artifacts we can just shoot shoot him in the face with. 
Did this Joyrus Familio deal most of the damage last game? Mm -hmm. I feel like that bird dealt like 14 damage last game. They could also have Whisperer could bite you in the butt. Oh, uh, what are you referring to? Yup, that's dead now. <clears throat> oh, dang it. I could cast you and then play Mountain. Is that better than letting you get a free Skittering Surveyor? Don't think so. No, I don't think so either. <clears throat> Can I sacrifice an opponent's artifact? Is that a thing? Mike, just drink some warm soda and take a nap. Hey man, you're delicious. Right. Wait, the nap? You can't eat naps, Michael. I think the warm soda. Silver Mate, I know, I know what Whisper does. I'm asking how that bites us in the butt. What are you saying right now? No play. Interesting. <clears throat> That's a thing? An illegal thing? Oh, no. I don't want to go to magic jail. Oh, I think we're just taking the two-headed giant here. I don't think we care about the compass. No. Nah. Giant is good. That's a solid body. Got a solid body. <clears throat> Oh, wow. Okay, so they're at 14, and then because of Barrage, they're basically at 10. It's pretty good. Deep Freeze on Daragaz. Oh, because they sacrificed. I see what you're saying. I mean, I don't think that comes back to bite us in the butt. I mean, at worst, they're sacrificing Daragaz anyway, right? Like, so, I mean, they can't sacrifice it to get it back. Uh, yeah, we can cast it for zero and fling it, but I'd rather just draw a better card. I mean, I already have plenty of things that I can fling if it's going to be the last four damage we deal. Like, this guy's fine to fling. This is probably fine to fling at some point anyway, so. Wow. That's pretty good. I'm going to get rid of you and you. Make me feel some type of way. <coughs> well, hopefully they don't have another one. If they do, I feel like that's pretty fine. They don't have red or green. Daragaz requires both of those, right? Mm-hmm. As far as I know. They could put us to 10 here with that big idiot. The guy doesn't have Trample, though, so... Let me just block it for a while. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look, they did it. Nailed it. Did they nail it? I don't know. Your questions are valid. I don't think so. You don't... I don't think you... So? No, oh, I don't so. Got him. Oh, look, it's Whisper, but they don't really have anything to get back, do they? It's just a creature. Return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield? Sure. Intriguing. Are they? They're just dead here, right? <clears throat> this is a game, right? What just happened? I flipped a head and a tail. Okay, so nothing happens. Sure. I think they're dead. Goof. These games weren't even close, man. Goof. Goof is right. I think our deck is good. Remember that you were like, it's a dirtily deck. It'll never win a game. 
And I was like, wow, that's bold, well, but... Prove me wrong, I guess. Yeah, I've proved that you suck. Wow, it's messed up, man. Do you know why that's up? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the next game is the true test. That is true. I don't think their mana base was that terrible. Like, Team to function. Yeah, they actually had zero mana problems game one. Like, it had no effect on their first game, so... I mean, their best play on turn four was was Helm on Skittering Surveyor. It's not like that's their best play in their deck. I mean, they had plenty of had plenty of things to copy. And uh, in fact, we can't complain about their mana base on one hand, and then say Helm on Skittering Surveyor is bad because like that it, this fixes their mana base. So this hand seems fine. Also, Helm on something like Daragaz. Seems good. Playing against Cory Baumeister. That's pretty, pretty, pretty funny. I'm like, thank God this isn't standard. Otherwise, we'd just get crushed. Probably going to get crushed anyway, but that's fine. <clears throat> Glider. Oh, that's a good card. Well, unfortunately, we can't do anything, but... I'm going to attack anyway, because... Reasons. What do we do next turn, man? Nothing? That's what I thought. Probably. How about we draw two at a giant, we play that next turn, and then the turn after that we draw a forest. That would be good. That would be the perfect draw ever, right? It would be pretty good. And then we can go see Avengers of Infinity War in two days. Perfect. Per I don't know how those relate to each perfect other. Perfect sequence of events, Michael. <clears throat> Are you going to vicious hunger this guy? Oh, corrosive ooze. No, that's not what we're looking for. Not quite. Almost tempted to kill this, though. Let's see what happens here. If you want to trade, that's fine. This guy doesn't really do much for us. Plus, it gets some blockers off the board. <clears throat> we still have fire intervention and weight of memory. Yeah, this is fine. <sighs> How many Helm of the Host do I have to play against in this draft? Apparently none. Uh, I did see the Venom trailer. I don't know what I think about it. The more I watch the actual CGI of Venom, like the less comfortable I am with it. Dude, we're definitely boarding in the three damage to their face and one damage to all their guys. Can you imagine how broken that would be right here? It would be pretty good. <clears throat> Not even attacking here, right? That seems bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I 
I don't think we win if we attack is the problem. I don't think we... We take six, and we take five, and we take four, and that's more than enough. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Ugh, not ideal. We're definitely bringing in all the one threes. We're definitely bringing in the uh, three damage and the one damage. Stop playing things, Corey. <clears throat> um, so I go block here, block here, block here. We take one, two, three, we take six. I think we're just going to wait here. Play a land. Play compass. Rat Colony, Song of Frailies, and Thalid Omnivore. Okay. <clears throat> so if we draw a land, we can actually play this and this next turn. That's pretty reasonable. Clearly blocking big jugs. Going to four. Or not. And dead. All right. Yep, that's a good card. That's a good card. <clears throat> uh, yep, lightning comes in. One three comes in. <coughs> Keep it down, buddy. You can't sleep for nineteen hours, then take a take a yawn. I slept for eight hours, you jerk. You per little jerk. <laughs> Look what you did, you little jerk. Yeah, defensive schizic feels terrible, but, you know, what are you going to do? Thank you. Oh, Adam with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Love and miss you. You're wonderful. You doing all right, man? How's your neck going? How's your neck doing? It's all right. Yeah? You doing a little... Could have been better. You doing a little neck roll? Yeah, a little neck roll. Whoop. A little neck roll whoop. <clears throat> What's a Dominary Invitational? Yeah, I'm not on Wizards Radar anymore. So, what are you going to do? Telerian Scholar is a decent blocker, but we already have, the, we already have Skittering Surveyors times two. I, I, think our, I think our deck is fine with blockers. Thank you. Mike McGim, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Crypt makes total sense going to a Magic Invitational. <laughs> I can see. Yeah, that makes... <clears throat> it was free. Wow. <laughs> oh, love you too, buddy. Love you too. Uh, we'll keep this hand. The question is, do we play this on turn one? Probably not. Oh, uh, it's called a cover photo, Mike, not a background photo. <laughs> Learn to social media, bro. L2 social media. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Skittering cutie. What are we getting here? I think it's still forest. I just feel good about... I'd rather have the 5 drop than the 3 drop, so... Man, we haven't drawn Jaya's Immolating Face Blaster yet, and that's pretty sad. Oh, God, it just keeps getting better Immolating and better. Immolating Face Blaster. Oh, of oh. course. Of course, right yeah. off the top. Right Sweet. off... That's where you get... <laughs> you know, that is... That is what I... Should I just do it now? I think we just do it now. <clears throat> I 
That seems good. Ooh. Well. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, it costs three to equip that? All right, well, we'll be more careful in the future. Could have also played Time of Ice, actually. That was probably better. I thought we could equip this, so that makes our play significantly worse. Ancient religions and hokey weapons are no match for a good place blaster at your side, kid. Kibler got an invite and Crip got an invite. It's basically, I mean, let's be real. That's just a... Please come back to magic. That's basically Please. a we want to promote our our new game. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to get people who don't care about magic to promote it just because they're big names. So what can you do? Pour some salt on it. Oh, I don't think that's necessary. There's plenty of salt on it as there is, my friend. Salt on. Salt on, salt off. Plenty of salt on it. Um. Joey, fix it. How am I killing you, buddy? Tap him down. <clears throat> I'm killing you with laughing? Oh, God, this is not my agenda. I'm so sorry, Joey. We can fix it. See what I did there? That's his name. Hmm. I know, it's pretty good. Hey, man, I like your rats. I'm going to tap all you gentlemen down. So we have to block here. Richie boy, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. So if we attack with you, you gotta, you gotta just have to block. You can make a copy of your Thalid Germinator guy, Omnivore, whatever. We could also Divination. Hope to hit a land. Or we can just play this and deal them four. Put them to one. Yeah, come, that's why I'm not putting this on here, because... <clears throat> Yeah, making one copy of the rat next turn doesn't really... Hmm. Yeah, we'll just play. We don't actually have a two-turn... We don't have a two-turn clock just because we might not be able to uh, get the damage through next turn. We can Oh, actually, we can play... We can play Rona off of the compass, so I'm dumb. What happened? To, well, we didn't have a black at the time, and I forgot about the the compass. Um, what happened? To, well, Freshly brewed has just been hard to coordinate, and I do a lot of the back end work, so it was just getting a little. It can get a little overwhelming sometimes, but it's actually a good trade unless you have like Yogmoss Vile Offering as your last card. But you don't have a legendary creature or Planeswalker, so I can't imagine that's your last card. All right, that's pretty good for us. Flip them. Whoop. Flip them, whoop. 
Send him to the cheddar cheese factory. What does that mean? Nobody knows. No idea. Um, what, is this? what does this do? Target land you control becomes a basic land of your choice. Okay, I'll target this land. I'll make it a swamp. Got him. Woo! <clears throat> Our deck is sweet. Boy. Boy. You heard me. Boy. They are, I haven't seen any removal. I'm really tempted to just bring in like Champion and Arcane Flight. I haven't seen any removal or any flyers. Like, z like literal zero. Maybe it's good. Why do we deep freeze and kill them? Wait, just, didn't they just... What are you talking about? They just died. <coughs> what are you saying? They're dead. Also, deep freeze doesn't make the guy unblockable. Only, only historic cards do. So... We won. Isn't that good enough? God... Is nothing good enough for you? Uh, it seems like if it's historic, draw two cards, so we're not going to... I don't know what to take out, though. I like our deck. Skizik might be pretty rough. Um, I don't know, man. How many things do we have to put on this guy to make him good? Just one, really? No, I mean, how many in our deck? I mean, like, we have Jousting Lance is good. I think it's just Lance and the other thing, though. It might not be that great. Probably not. <laughs> All right, we're really waffling here, man. <laughs> yeah, I think we're fine like this. I think this, this card's an utter blowout against him. Three to your dome, kill three of your guys. The utter has been blown out. It no longer produces the milk. The udder has been blown out, guys. I think it's the best card in our deck. All right, well, we got it. Nah, it's too good with other stuff starting out right now. <clears throat> no blocks I'm getting some real heavy breathing here with this uh One, two, three. We take five, so I'm not attacking here. Dealing two is not the same. It's not worth dealing. Taking an extra three. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> well, that was only turn three, though, so there's still time. Oh, dang it. We're getting getting punished. <clears throat> Play all my things and attack. You can go on double block, you get some value out of it. They don't have wild. Uh, is it called. What's it called? Wild growth? Wild. That's what I figured. Yeah. Uh, I'll choose. Your glider. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. While I'm looking it up right now. 
This is going to be a wild, wild onslaught. Nailed it. <clears throat> That's a big juggernaut. Hey, we got to land. That's pretty good. But it was too late, you see. Why was it too late? Because they got big jugs, man. How do we beat that? Well, we just don't, don't care about it? I don't know. <coughs> I'm just going to keep untapping his bird. That's what friends are for. The good times. The juggernaut times. Yeah, I'll just take seven here. This is where he gives his whole team plus one, plus one, which is pretty good. But then you could probably attack with these guys, right? Yeah. We've missed our window. Yep. Seems good. <clears throat> yep, that's pretty busted. And here, me, me stuck with this Jaya's Emulating Blast in my hand. Me stuck. Ooh, bottom, bottom. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, we're probably dead here. No, that's pretty good. Turn too late. Mm -hmm. Literally, if that was last turn, we could uh, deal four, four, and four. That'd be pretty good. <clears throat> yep. Instead, we are dead. <laughs> Comical. Comical. Yep. <sighs> Seems good. How lucky. <coughs> How lucky. Um, yeah, that sounds fine. <clears throat> Lots of things going on here. Let's make Wait's, Wait's memory cost four. That's pretty good. You like that? Hey, man. All right. You're being, you're being real chatty today, buddy. Did you know that? God, my stir const is still out of date. It's unbelievable. What's stir const? You know what it is. Don't actually. It's right here. Gotcha. Did you see it? Right here. Oh, right. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta keep that thing up to date, man. I know, it's my it's my fault. It's my own fault. I have no one Dummy. to blame but myself. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe next time you'll think about it. I won't. Wow. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. <laughs> Play is awesome. <clears throat> oh, now we're going to do it. Probably not. Mm, we need a legendary first. You need a legendary. I need a legendary. Let's get a Foresto. Much like I need a Euro. A Euro? I need one Euro. <clears throat> Hold on, let me actually copy this. And I'm going to put this on a t-shirt. <laughs> mm. 
No blocks. All right. That's a good idea, hey, Daniel. Hey, that's a good draw. Hey, that's a good draw, Michael. Michael, it's a good draw. Are you done? Yeah, I'll never tell. Are you done? Yes. <coughs> Alternatively, we might just play this guy, and then we can double block with a 1-3 and a 2-2, two -two, and they can only kill one. Or we can just play Weight of Memory here, which is also probably pretty good. I'm going to do that. Maybe. Hmm. Well, I'm locked into it now. Um, do we play a land this turn? Yes, I mean, we... you can just make it back into a mound if you don't want to do it. Right, but I have to choose now is, my, is the thing. Get that giant out there, man. All right. Let him see the world. Let him experience life. Michael, I need a hero. You can't have one. That's sad. Well, if you updated your Stronic. My Stronic? Yeah. Wow. Stronic the Hedgehog? Yeah, Stronic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Did I just take six here? I don't really want to block with this guy, so I'm not going to. Well, now we're going to have to get a land. Well, we found some lands. <clears throat> I guess we're just going to pass the turn. Are you going to attack? Well, no, because then they attack for like a million. What's wrong with you? It's only a million. I'm just going to block here. Eight damage is my limit for, for idiots. <laughs> That's my limit for idiots. I thought you had no limit for idiots. I mean, that's what you'd think. Icy Manipulator. Okay. I'll take you. I would really like a legendary of some sort. God. So I'm boarding that one card in again, dude. Kills you, 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 and you. This is an interesting attack. I don't understand it, but so one, two, three, four, six, seven. This costs four. Icy costs three. Wouldn't be able to tap anything down, but it does get two things on the board. Alternatively, we can play Keldon and Icy, which is probably also fine. <coughs> I need a hero. I mean, they're just trying to deal us eight with these guys. That seems ambitious because you can't attack with this one. If they alpha here, I'd be quite surprised. Oh, I see. I see. That's a combo. Well, you better do it now. Okay, that's fine. Come on, man. Oh, oh. oh, you sack a regular goblin and then cast Squee. That's kind of the same thing. <coughs> Squee. That's uh that's pretty much the noise, yeah. Squee I'm 
Did they not do anything? Okay. Oh, it's a little cutie bird. Another card that dies to our... Frank, my girlfriend has taken me out for my birthday sushi. Should I stop by the store and get a nice shirt or just wear the Adventure Time t-shirt I'm wearing right now? Honest answers, no jokes, honesty stream. Um, do you not have any nice shirts at all? He's all out of every shirt except for one. It's Adventure Time. In the old days, you used to call it Squeege Gang Combo Mander. I don't think... Squeege Game Combo Mander? I don't think any of those things are accurate. Give me a, a, a reasonable... Let me get a legendary right now. I need a hero right now. Come on. One time. That's a potential legendary. That's a legendary. Legendary! All right, just survive the turn, I guess. I need a hero. Don't kill my cutie bird. You're going to kill my cutie bird. That's sad. I was hoping they wouldn't kill my cutie bird, but then they killed my cutie bird. But they did. Oh, they don't kill my cutie bird, but they killed my cutie bird. That's a cutie bird song. Sick girlfriend brags. I hear they're nice from my friends. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to Immolating Inferno until the cows come home. <clears throat> and we're just going to keep doing things. So, Oh, God. The triggers are real. So we kill what? Fire Elemental, Siege Gang, and probably Danishin, Danitha? Or do we just go face with one of them? We get face for a lot. All right, so we're definitely choosing Siege Gang and Fire Elemental. How much are we going to deal? We want to keep one up for Icy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, four, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> uh, we have 11 total mana to work with, two of which is for cast. So we have nine mana to work with. One is for Icy, so we can deal eight. That seems pretty good. Eight to the face. That seems decent. Let me make sure I did that correct. All right, we're going to go face, siege gang, fire elemental. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems good. I don't know a bunch about magic, but that seems good. I still don't think we can attack here, though. <coughs> I have no idea what you guys are chatting about right now. It's pretty ridiculous. Yep, you can have your little squee. A squee, boy. I thought we were going to die way before that Jai is immolating... Especially because they attack with both gliders into our... Well, this is interesting. Um, so we just assume you have a charge. Sure, block there. Block you. Or a plus three, plus three, which is also pretty good. Or a plus two, plus two even. But plus two, plus two, eh, they wouldn't still trade, though. <clears throat> I really don't want to lose this, though, because this is an engine. So, Oh, I like that we didn't tap a thing. I don't know why we didn't tap anything. I think I got distracted. I was actually totally distracted. So that's sad. I guess it's still fine, though.
It's interesting. We got a wizard too, so we can actually play this for cheap. Play it on the cheap. <coughs> Now I'm just wishing I had the uh, the guy who got to, gets back the uh, instant or sorcery. I forgot what I took over that, but that guy would have been good. Pack one, pick one. I agree with what you're saying right there. Server so, Mayth, have a good night, buddy. <clears throat> enjoy your enjoy your date. Pretty sure I just want to bounce a squee here. Squee! <laughs> that was amazing. <clears throat> Going to six. Hey, that's pretty good. Our deck is sweet. They would be at 4 and we'd be at 10 right now if we were to tap Danatha. So keep that in mind. And we know one of the two cards is a squee, so squee. <clears throat> hey man, you like squee? It's all right. Okay. Good talk, man. Good talk. Glad we had this conversation. Me too. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, so it's either tap the bird or tap the Danatha. We can now we'll just tap the Danatha. I would rather us take two more than you gain life. Boof. <clears throat> Boof. That's right. Boof. What up, no beats? Oh, all right, we just win. <clears throat> oh, all right. Pretty good. I guess Trample's a pretty good thing. Like, so, they can go block, block. They take 5, 6. I guess they could block here. They go to 1. We could tap a guy down. We probably had the win there. But they had a card, so I don't know if I was going to risk it. <clears throat> for Le Biscuit. Radiating Light, let's bring that in every single time, because it's pretty ridiculous. Yep. <coughs> yep, 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 Remember that? Oh, I do. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh, I don't know about this hand. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I don't know about this one either. Okay. This is not the worst. Don't play a one drop, though. Also, I got a new hand shield in case people want to peep. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's my new hand shield. So now you guys can look at it. They'll be like, oh, dang. What are they doing? <clears throat> Just leave it up, man. That's a good idea. I like it. I like leaving it up. Oh, what up, chicken? 
Oh, what up, Jay of Ballard's Immolating, Immolating Inferno? Uh, no beats, uh, no comment. Uh, Mike, any confirmation on the rumor you were having an illegitimate child with the Hungry Howie's heiress, and that for legal reasons you'll have to name the child Howie? <laughs> oh. I, I can confirm or deny. Should I confirm or deny for you? Don't you dare. I would never confirm or deny whether Mike is doing that. I would never do that to my friend Mike. <laughs> Something wrong with your eye, man? What are you talking about, man? I got you. I just wanted to be honest with the people. <clears throat> Hold on, hand shields up. I'm really proud of like how it looks good. It looks like it, it fits perfectly, so. Oh, they missed a land drop? Glove. We mulled the five, and they missed two land drops. So, I don't feel bad about that. Did they not mulligan at all? No, they kept. <clears throat> well, buddy, listen. Oh, there you go. You hit it. Come on, five drop. Legendary guy. That's That's pretty good, though. Could also just kill this and attack for three again. A wise choice. Yeah, wasn't great though. <clears throat> Death is surprisingly hard to deal with. I heard that the rumors are wrong. The construct. Construct? Contract specifically states the Hungry Howies will have to change their name to Hungry Barbobbly Booze. Man, please let me draw the card that kills all of your things right now. That's not it. Well, we're not dead yet. Well, we're not dead yet. Oh, I'm still alive here. Also, if we draw, like, Rona, we can play Rona and Emulating Inferno for two. Like, killing all three of their flyers, which is pretty okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty good. <clears throat> so, put a thing on you. Did I tap a... Oh, this one, not the other one. Um... All right. One time. <clears throat> don't have a legend. Don't have a historic spell, I guess. Okay, we did it. We survived. Oh, we didn't survive. That's cute. Congratulations. Nope. 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 Okay. Well, <clears throat> we did mold a five, so... Well, shiz, shiz. Well, shiz. Well, shiz. It's a it's a stream it's about Welshes. It's delicious grape juice. What is this? What pizza magazine? What? What is this? I want to know more about it. Just a legit magazine. This is a pizza? lot of articles, man. Wow. Huh. I have never seen such a thing. This is amazing. Do to cook or not to cook. Cook uncooked pizza sauces. Oh my god. That is a controversy. Look at the... Oh, some of these articles... These articles are like from 2014. Is this like... How up to date is this? It's hard to say. Oh, there was a 2018 thing now. <clears throat> oh man. 
This is crazy, dude. Thank God someone's talking about pizza. Hey, man, you've been doing good with no, no ice chewing. Yeah, because I'm all out of ice. I well, sucked it all away. <laughs> That's what she said? Hmm. Uh, if we don't draw Mountain or Forest, what should we go with Surveyor? Probably Forest, because we have a card that we can definitely... We have one card that we can play with each land type. We also have, like, eight eight red sources in the deck and one green source. So, <clears throat> technically nine sources of red if you include the compass and two sources of green, but... Man, Felipe is listening to some serious, like, Viking metal out there. How do you feel about Viking Metal, man? I like it. Good talking to you. I'm glad we had this chat. <clears throat> do you know what I like? About you? Nothing. Wow. I don't like anything about him. I want to get this boot in green, but the only size they have is a 7, and that ain't going to do it. And they're having a... 20% off sale and I can't even get it because they don't I have I guess it. you just got riggedy riggedy wrecked. I, I got wrecked a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> What's our opponent doing? What's the hold up here? I guess we are. We have less time than they do so I can't even really complain I guess but I'm going to do it anyway. Alright that's better. Now we're definitely getting the green if you know what I mean. Get in the green do you know what I mean? That's a song about getting the green. Mike, now that you'll be part of the Hungry Howie's family, you, now that you'll be now that you'll be part of the Hungry Howie's family, you can actually get a free subscription to PMQ as an owner operator vendor of pizza. Hmm. <clears throat> I am a BOGO kind of guy, but uh, if they don't have a BOGO, I can't force the. That's what I thought we were. I actually had a feeling we were going to draw that for some reason. I should have said it, but said it and forget. No, I don't it. believe you. I don't care what you believe. Good. Cause, good yeah, one. good one, good Got one, him. good one, good one, Michael. It was a good one. You did a good one. What? Oh my God! Oh, why couldn't you attack with that guy? Dang, we were so close to getting a freebie, a freeble, if you will. Hmm, I think it's just this. I don't know what to do. They're probably just going to equip their stupid bird next turn. Which I guess is fine. Na, 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 knees. Knees. Fine ease. <laughs> That's my favorite language. Fine ease. Wow. 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 <clears throat> why you don't play forest? Uh, why not? What's the difference? It's the same as a normal draft, but you make your video feed take up a quarter of the screen. Interesting. So, so like this. <laughs> All right, guys. What's our play here? I blocked it. Yeah, you did. You sure did. All right. Anyway, back to, back to, back to reality. Whoop! There goes Michael B. <clears throat> All right. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up and lock it up. Send him to jail. Send him to jail. This is my little bird man. 
Just my little bird man. Mike's face there could sustain me for a lifetime. Wow. Wow. Someone clip that for me, please. Someone. Someone don't. I don't like them having that. I think we might just try to kill it, but we'll see. Are you going to tap my guy so you can get in there for two? I'll never let you do that. <coughs> Ooh, the engine is, is real. Get in there, little cutie. Get in there, little cutie bird. Cutie bird? Yeah. Cutie bird. Does it bother you that you sound like that? No. It would bother me if I were you. Well, you're not me. I mean, we can cast Rona, but she doesn't get anything back here. I'd rather get a historic card back. That's just me, though. Oh, I see. Well, then. I will tap you down, huh? What are you doing here? What is that? Get in there, little cutie bird. Get in there, little cutie bird. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. Can we can we draw our fiery wombo combo card that just wipes their board? Well that ain't it, but that does let us play other things, which is nice. One time, 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 one time. We have two of them in the deck, actually. Immolating Fire and the other one, the Rampant Fire. Two fires. <clears throat> I thought that was it for a second. I got real excited. Turns out it was a different card, ladies and gentlemen. It was just a regular red card. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually, we could just cast this. <clears throat> Here comes Michael. I think it's two at a giant and Rona. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Um, Rona only costs two, which is nice. And then we can keep up mana for Icy, but they're probably just going to tap down our Icy. Oh, they didn't tap anything down. Wow, we got so lucky there. As soon as I felt like they F6, I was like, let's hurry and get to this turn. Wow, that was great. <clears throat> That's a freebie as far as I'm concerned. Tap you, good sir. Oh, no attacks. They don't have any tricks in hand. That's good to know. Sure. One time. We got two cards off the top. That's not it. One more. One more. Come on. Oh. Probably just wins us the game, right? It's probably going to be pretty close, yeah. Actually, what do we deal with? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we'll actually deal it to him, him, and face. We'll keep one mana up. Here comes Peter Cottondale. 
They're going to tap a thing down now, but they still go to one, which is pretty good. <clears throat> what are you tapping down, boyo? Oh, we just, what? Oh, we just win the game. All right, that'll do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out the Patreon if you're looking for all new Frank content, uh, magic-related content, whatever. Uh, it's patreon.com slash franklapore. You can find a link in the description. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.